Buying a gift for a child should be easy, right? <laughs> if you struggle to know what a one-year-old will love, a gift that won't break the bank or cause harm to the tiny tot, then stay tuned as I give you in price order the five best inexpensive gifts to give to a one-year-old. Now first on the list is an inexpensive gift that will be loved dearly the humble book. From 12 months onwards, children really start to enjoy stories and will happily listen to the same book hundreds of times. Now, particular favorites are the touchy-feely books. You know, they're usually called, that's not my dinosaur, or that's not my doll, or that's not my chick, that's not my penguin. There are literally hundreds of versions of that's not my and they're fantastic because every page has a different texture for baby to really start to explore. And then the payoff comes at the end when you finally find your particular thing that you're looking for. Yay, that's my dinosaur. My 13 month old Jacob particularly loves these books, especially for that payoff at the end. He always flicks the pages really fast to get to that moment at the end when we go, that's my penguin. He gets very, very excited, it's super cute. Then you also have the um, Noisy Crow, no, sorry, Noisy Crow, Dyslexia Rules KO, Noisy Crow books. And I picked these ones out as particular favorites because they have these felt flaps. Now flap books in general are fantastic. That search and discovery is a really nice thing for toddlers to experience. But these ones have these felt flaps which the children just can't rip very easily. They don't get caught and folded and they can always go back into place and retain their shape. So these ones are good for durability with um, young, young toddlers and um, these will stand much better the test of time. So the, t the Nosy Crow and the Touchy Feely books, they come in at around I've seen them advertised on a sale for $3.99 um, or you're generally looking around the £5 mark to get one of these much loved books and with so many different versions on offer you'd be very unlucky if you end up buying one that they already own. Okay, next up, the very popular hide and seek or hide and squeak toy. So this is the Tommy hide and squeak eggs. This is actually suitable from six months old um, onwards. We've had this from before Jacob was born and he has, as a baby, loved it. He gets lots of enjoyment out of it now and even his three-year-old niece loves this toy. So it's one that should last for quite a while. It is a developmental activity. It offers lots of different things for babies. So you have obviously the colors, the color faces can be matched up to the colour of the egg on the inside. It's very exciting. So they've got their introduction to colour. Then of course you've got the, the search and discovery, concealing aspect to it. And then there's also a shape sorting aspect. Underneath each one there is a shape. This one's a circle and you have to lock it into the circle space. This one is a cross. I think the shape sorting definitely comes into its own when they're a little bit older but um, just at this age now, for them to be playing with, squeaking, Jacob loves to chew on them, oh. chews on everything, um, and just the idea of concealing all the eggs and finding them again, scattering them about and bringing them all back together, he really enjoys that activity. So this is a firm favourite, I think you'll find it on Amazon, it's a bestseller, so a firm favourite, a good addition to any nursery. I guess the only downside is, for me, it is a plastic toy, which is not something I'm that keen on, but you can't deny how much fun and joy the kiddies get out of it. This particular gift is about eight pounds to buy new, and um, I think that's pretty excellent. Now, I saved the best for third because it retails at about nine pounds and it sits in the middle of today's list, and that's the inexpensive, a baby pleaser, the classic wooden pop-up peg toy. Now this is great for all sorts of different things. It's fantastic for hand-eye coordination, which at 12 months on, you'll really start seeing them trying to work out how to put things in 
to little gaps, little holes. And rather than your plug sockets, it's probably better for them to have a toy like this. So Jacob really loves taking them out and trying to put them back in. It's also a good introduction to colour awareness as well, trying to match up the colours. I have to be honest, Jacob loves to chew on this particular toy and they're very safe for a 12 month old. But yeah, he really gets <laughs> a lot of joy out of chewing these little wooden pegs. Now they are pop up, so if you show the child that you push it down, release, and they get lots of enjoyment and excitement out of that. Jacob at 30 months has just learnt about how to push them down. He doesn't do it with the same sort of um, finesse as an adult would, but he still loves it. And the best thing about this, it's wooden and there are no batteries required. Um, I have also found that when his nieces have come round, three and five year olds, they love this as well. And I think it looks quite nice. It's a nice addition, visually. And yeah, I love playing with it too. Okay, so that's my top recommendation. We've been to a lot of birthday parties recently with one-year-olds and this has been my present of choice and I even got this text message from one of the mums who received this gift. It's a firm favourite. Okay, next. This is another fabulous developmental toy for 12 months plus. It's the Shape Sorter. This toy presents enough of a challenge while still offering that sense of achievement. Depending on the type of shape sorter you buy, most of them should have a very simple shape that they can put in. A circle is what Jacob um, achieved first. And that sense of achievement every time he puts it in, it's just wonderful to see. And yet there are shapes on this particular one that even um, the three-year-old niece struggled with. So it's definitely a toy that will keep challenging them for quite a while. So it's got that longevity, which is fantastic. This will keep Jacob occupied for about three, four minutes at a time. He likes to play with it for a little while, go away and come back to it. I enjoy playing this with him as well. I think it's a nice piece to have in the nursery. And this retails at around 13 pounds, but you get all sorts of different shape sorters at all sorts of different prices, but you're looking 10 pounds upwards. Okay, let's go on to our last toy of choice. So our final toy is at the top of the price scale, which retails at under 20 pounds, although it is available from Amazon for around 13 pounds 50. And all the toys mentioned in this video are obviously linked in my shop, my Amazon shop down in the description box below. But today's top ticket price toy, <coughs> drum roll please, is the Fisher-Price Smart Stages Puppy. Now this is suitable from six months plus, and this is a toy that will grow with your baby. It's designed that way. It offers three levels of play, which you change on the foot down here. And this toy, it just fascinates Jacob. You can press all sorts of different parts of the, parts of the puppy, and it, it makes lots of different noises and, and speaks. It also sings songs. Jacob loves it when he presses the heart and makes it sing the ABC song. He loves to dance along. And then when you feel like they are beyond the level of the bear, then you just level it up to the next stage. Obviously, it's, it sings, it talks, it makes noises, it lights up. So this is going to be a very entertaining toy. I don't like to have too many of these toys in the nursery, but they are definitely a highlight for Jacob. This one offers over 75 different songs and sounds. It covers things like colors, ABCs, um, numbers, and parts of the body. So it's gonna help them with those initial words that they're learning. Obviously, it is a battery, um, a battery powered toy, so this takes two AA batteries, um, but I believe the batteries are included with the toy when you purchase it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so those are my top five recommendations for first year olds, birthdays, or for Christmases, um, or for just buying a gift for a child that you haven't seen for a while and you're going to visit. All of these toys are listed on my Amazon shop. Like I said, that's listed down in the description box below. If you're new here, I'd love you to stick around just by clicking that subscribe button and pressing the bell notification. Until next time, please feel free to have a chat with me down in the comment section below, and I'll see you in another video. Hang on. Hey. <laughs> that's so good. 
apart from when the pieces disappear underneath the sofa and you can't find them for days on end.